Me and Rasmus played Gears of War 3, and now it's time to tear the game apart and review it. So, Rasmus, you can start. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the game? It sucks. No. Um, uh, when, when Gears of War 2 came out, that was a really major leap over the first game. And Gears of War 3 feels like that same sort of leap. It's, it's really, really good. So, uh, of course, we don't want to spoil too much of the campaign. No. But, uh, uh, what's the uh, uh, what's the consistency of the uh, story and how it progresses? It, uh, game game starts out I think a uh, year and a half after Gears of War 2. Um, Marcus and the guys are basically on the run. They're living on a carrier ship, sailing around. Um, the war against the locusts have been won, but the lambent locusts have appeared and pretty much taken over the globe and pushed everybody out. Um, what happens is that uh, Marcus and the other guys find out that his dad is still alive. Uh, he's thought he's been thought dead ever since the beginning of the first game, um, and with him back, he, he not only is he back, he's also invented a sort of weapon or device that can kill off the Lambent, all of them, and save Sarah forever. So naturally, they they set out to bring him back, and that's pretty much the the overall story. So it's uh, again the last ditch effort to save, last ditch save, effort to save, save mankind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they've done that a couple of times now. <laughs> yeah. but this, this, this one is the last one for real. Yeah. <laughs> Main, I think the biggest question is that is the uh, is it satisfying that uh, like the conclusion because they they have promised that they will answer a lot of questions mm. and uh, it will give players fulfillment. Mm. So is that is that uh, fair to say? It's it's, it's happened. I, yeah, yeah. I, I guess it is. I mean the the. Gears of War has never really been, you know, about a really strong story. Really? Uh, yeah, no, I've al <laughs> I always consider the narrative to be some, uh, a, a bit weak. Um, but, but, but yeah, they, they do round it off and they do finish it off and they pretty much tie up all the loose ends, I guess. Uh, barring a couple, maybe, but those are like sort of unimportant ones. I guess they gotta leave something for the books as well. Right. So how was the uh, overall feeling of the game? Mm. Uh, I think the Gears of War series has always had like really satisfying gunplay. They they, they really nailed that in the, in the first game. They just sort of refined it uh, with the sequels. And yeah, still the action feels superb. It's probably one of the best shooting games on Xbox 360, in my opinion. Um, there's always, you know, even the basic gun, the, the Lancer has like this really satisfying kickback. Um, there's some new guns like Retro Lancer that has a lot of recoil and hits even harder. and it's more exotic things like something called the digger that shoots a grenade that digs through the ground and pops yeah. up behind cover and blows enemies up. And of course the uh, uh, sh uh, the uh, new shotgun. Yeah, the new sh oh yeah, this, the sawed-off shotgun is insane. Uh, if you get close and hit with it, if you miss, it obviously sucks. But, <laughs> but I think in general, I mean, the, the the shooting and the gameplay feels really, really well, uh, or really, really good. Um, there's a lot of enemies, more enemies probably than, than in previous games, and more varied enemies. Um, the Lambent, Lambent? Yeah, yeah the Lambent, the, the Lambent, some of those guys mutate mid-combat, so they'll grow out tentacles that shoot fire and whatever. Um, and there's also some other enemies I won't spoil for spoiler reasons. But action-wise, Gears of War feels so good. This is like the best they've done in that series so far, without a doubt. Yeah, it's, it, it, it was good in, in the second part, mm -hmm. but they feel it, it's, it has evolved more subtle ways, yeah, and yeah. it's... it's uh, it's even better. Yeah, and also the pacing. I mean, the, there's not a lot of sort of quiet sections. It did pretty much non-stop shooting, but still, you know, it calms down or mixes up with a vehicle section or whatever. So, as a as an action game, uh, as, as a pure sort of action game, it doesn't get much better than this, I think. And of course, the single player isn't ev all isn't all that nope. the game offers. Nope. Um, yeah, there's new there's new horde mode where you know this time basically you have a base probably a proper base this time around that you can upgrade. You can build these sort of barricades and get guns and stuff, landmines to, or not landmines, but but guns and stuff to you know block yeah. off the enemies. There's also that thing called um, beast mode where you play as locusts yeah. hunting down people. Yeah, basically that's that's uh, they have turned the. Uh, horde mode the around. Yeah, yeah, horde mode around. That now you are playing the playing the bad guys, <laughs> the locust, and you're trying to kill. Actually, that was the. Like of all those uh, extra game modes, that was the uh, game mode I played the most. Mm. Even though it is pretty hard to play by yourself because <laughs> it doesn't scale up. Right. So basically, if you're playing by yourself, the time limit 
is still the same. Yeah. So you're gonna <laughs> have a real tough time to get all those survi yeah. pesky survivors. Mm. But uh, when you get, get a couple of friends to come along, it, it gets really good. But there is one little problem with it, that there is uh, only 13 uh, waves. Mm. So it's not as, as uh, in-depth oh, right, as, right, right. as, yeah. as yeah. Yeah. Or, or horde mode. So uh, it's very good and I, I think uh, that could be a little bit exp uh, expanded in, in maybe downloads or something. But mm. uh, it, it's a good, ad good, very good addition. But uh, maybe a little bit uh, the content in, in that game mode isn't, isn't yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. But of course, in general, yeah, even, yeah. Even, even if you're playing by yourself uh, or, or in, in split screen. Major bonus. Yeah, you can play that on online. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, well, all the game modes, they are one for, uh, well, a single player, then the uh, co-op co -op on a horde, and, and then of course the multiplayer, which of course at it's, this it, time... Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's really, it, it's different. I mean, it's, it's different from a lot of uh, other Xbox Live shooters, but, but it sort of has its own little niche, but it works really well. It's a very different sort of uh, online experience, shooting experience, because it's more slower paced. Um, you only have a limited number of respawns, so you, you know, the punishment for dying is really, really tough. But, but once you get used to it, it's really good too. And it's a, it's a nice sort of variation from what you're used to if you only yeah. play like Call of Duty or whatever. There are ten, ten, game, uh, ten uh, maps mm -hmm. and three game modes in yeah. multiplayer uh, as of now. Yeah. But, uh, so overall score? What do you think? Uh, well, you know, we'll have those at the bottom of the screen. But I think yeah. you know, if, 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 if you have an Xbox 360 and you like action games, there's no reason not to get Gears of War 3. It's yeah. really, really good. Yeah, and it really gives you a different kind of uh, uh, multiplayer and action feeling than the first player, uh, uh, first person shooters. Mm. So uh, it's definitely a nice change of pace to those games, mm -hmm. which has been overflowing almost in, in console markets. <laughs> but yeah, get Gears of War 3. Definitely. Mm -hmm.